Let's introduce the heavyweights as they come out here. Rob Bain from Bowling Brook, senior 7-0. and He'll be in the black singlet with the white trim. Andrew Gears from Nico Valley, a junior, 17-1. and He'll be in the blue singlet with all the gold on the stripes. Go ahead, Andre. Yeah, so, uh, Eddie, I'm surprised you didn't take your cell phone out and text uh, Coop uh, about what's going on down here at, uh, in Harlem. Uh, no, I actually I haven't got to that yet. I want to because I want to want to start uh, messing with him a little bit just because I was the second well, and he was the first one. So we, we're thinking you got a chance to get OW here today. I mean, it's kind of hard. You know, I was looking at some guys and then uh, Coach here, Coach Burke, pointed out that you're a four timer. It's kind of hard to ignore a four timer when you're giving out an OW. Yeah, I mean, it would actually be it'd be really nice to get OW just because. Last year, Coop got it and stuff, so if I get it this year, it'd be... It'd be Bain got the early takedown. Gears reversed him. We're 2-2 two to two here. It's about a minute 20 left, still in the first period. Well, I'm going to let you go, Eddie. Uh, I just, just wanted to chat with you for a minute. Uh, hopefully, they give you the OW and uh, getting ready for the Catholic League season. I'll see you yeah. down there, wherever they're having the CCLs at, and then I'm pretty sure you'll be somewhere on that floor come... Uh, Champagne time, that's the plan at least, right? Oh yeah, right now that's, that's my main goal. I mean, I've already lost once, so there's none. Who'd, none you, who'd you lose to? Oh, uh, Bobby Zabel last week. I bumped up to 32 and rested him just because. Okay, so so it's a, it's a good loss. Yeah, yeah, I, I lost by, I was winning and to the third, and then I got hit for stalling, and so I cut him and he took me down. So. Always enjoyable to watch you wrestle because you come consistently at people, always in perfect body position. So good luck to you in the next few weeks, and hopefully we get a chance to see you some in the next four and five years in college. All right, thank okay, you. Sir. Thank you. Okay, again, here at heavyweight, we're four to three in favor of Bain. They're on their feet, 32 seconds left, second period. Bain in on a nice blast shot again. Boy, that's just so impressive. Oh, wow. I know I've said it five times today, but for a heavyweight to move like that, it's just real pretty to watch. Yeah, he's extra light on his feet. <laughs> and you said he's going down to the U of I to play football? Can't you see him just pulling a guard? I don't know what, the, I assume he plays somewhere offensive or defensive line, but yeah, he's a big, big kid, and I'm sure they'll put some weight and stuff on him. I gotta believe Division One football is a lot easier than Division One wrestling. <laughs> yeah, but still, there's nothing it's like tough. Division One wrestling where you get to go out there one on one and right. compete in front of all that. And football, I agree, uh, 90,000 people and stuff like that. But you're out there with a team, and this one on one, where it's, to me, it's a great thing for them. Uh, you, 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 you always wonder too, like a guy like Bain, he's gonna play football and all that. But don't you think he's gonna make his way over to Huff every now and then? And, catch a match. Oh, if so, I think Coach Heffernan will want him to stay and maybe yeah. get out there and compete a little bit. I, I, I'm sure Blanton every now and then makes his way over to the stadium to Memorial to see a football game. It's too bad kids can't anymore do both sports. Back, I say the old days, they right. could play college football and do a little bit of wrestling and stuff and be enjoyable to watch him do some There's stuff. There's no time for any nope, of that. not anymore. I not mean, you got to specialize it. College wrestling is a job. College any sport College is a any job. Sport, yeah. On any level. Bain cuts him again to start the third period. And look at the crowd around this mat. That's a testament to these two wrestlers. Oh, the boy from Nico tried to take a shot. And he's in there. And Bain gets those hips on him so strong. And now, yeah, it's a tough position here for him. And that'd be a takedown. It's going to be 8 5. Boy from Nick was still right in this. He. A minute and 25 left, and this is our last match of the night. And like Andre said, huge crowd standing around watching the heavyweight match. He's going to cut him. Whoa, they come right at us. Dale, were you going to protect me there if they came too close? Oh, I was reading Jaguar. He said he's been watching. He's been sick all day. He wants to make a comment. You know, so uh, he thought that the uh, Harrah Johnson match was a great one. And uh, I think we're looking at it should be 8-6. It should be the score. They're making a little correction over here. 8-6 in favor of Bain with 117. Go ahead, Andre. Uh, Jaguar says we've watched some very lopsided tournaments with the new upper weights 
where the winners have pinned their stuff all the way through and have wrestled less than a full match. There just isn't much depth at the new upper weights. I agree. I mean, I can speak for our area. A lot of schools don't even have enough kids to fill those right now, but I'm sure as they're there longer and longer, kids will get used to fitting in the body weight or weight well, what, classes. What was the big change? You went, to, you went from 215 to 220, right? Well, you've actually got one more weight. In other words, basically, from instead of 189, 215 in heavyweight, You've got 182, 195, 220 in heavyweight. So you've got four instead of three is what it amounts right, to. Gotcha. Knuckleheads should have added a lower weight. In my view, they took away somewhere about 140, and that's where a lot of, at least most schools around us have a lot of kids in that area. Most kids are in high school are 130, 140, 150. So we're inside 30 seconds, second period. Bain still leads 8-6. Again, boy, from Nikwa's doing a lot of nice things with him to stay in the match. I don't think he wants match. to shoot on him a whole lot, but. And Bain slowed it down a little bit here, Andre, before he was real active on his feet, doing a lot of things as far as taking shots. Same deal now, he's slowed it down, and he's just still gonna choose neutral in the third period. 8-6 lead, Bain in the black from Bolingbrook. Bain knows that he's light on his feet. Oh, he's impressive, and again, he got a late start this year because their football team did so well in the state playoffs. He comes into this match only 7-0, and and that's just unstoppable. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for a heavyweight to be able to shoot like that, that's just very pretty. He leads 10 to 6 with 10 to 6 with 133 left. <laughs> Trying to suck him back. And now pushes him out for the one. 10 to 7 with 120 left, third period. Bain's a pretty big so dude, too, when you really look at him. Yeah, well, very well put together. So one dollar so gone. Maybe it's the Mitch Matt shoes that make him light on his feet. We're one minute left, 10 to 7. In favor of Rob Bain from Bolingbrook. Thank you, Jaguar. He says, by the way, we've done a great job today. He's enjoyed listening. Thank you. Bain in on another shot. Two takedown, 12-7. Yeah, notice how the hips stay tight to him. Shoulder pressure and controlling the wrist. Perfect ride. Boy from Nikos expends a lot of energy to build up. Now he cuts him again, 12-8. <laughs> Under 30 seconds. Nico Boy's got to throw him to win, and I don't see if he locks up and tries to go after it. Or he could get a takedown and then um, play the game. Never yeah. mind. Instead, let's just watch this blast double one more time. <laughs> Jaguar, what? don't forget, I got my Hall of Fame going. Put 14, your list together. Eight. We're inside five seconds, so our champion here, it looks like, will be Rob Bain, heavyweight from Bolingbrook. Senior, going to come out of here 8 0. Andrew Gears, to me, did a tremendous job. Junior from Nequa Valley. He's going to come out 17-2, and two, and he came and gave Bain everything he wanted, just couldn't stop that last double. But again, hard to stop it because you don't ever see it as a heavyweight. So you're not here's, exactly here's, used to it. Here's the problem is that they're going to probably be in the same uh, regional or power section. Bolingbrook ain't that far from uh, Naperville. 